Hello, my name is Kelly McGee, and the theorist I chose is Yuri Bronfenbrenner. Yuri Bronfenbrenner was born on April 29, 1917, in Moscow. He and his family moved to the United States when he was six years old. They moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but a year later, they moved to a rural part of New York State. His father was a neuropathologist and worked with the developmentally disabled in Rockland County, New York. Yuri graduated from Cornell University in 1938 with a bachelor's degree in psychology and music. He then went on to receive his master's in education from Harvard University in 1940. In 1942, he received his doctorate in developmental psychology from the University of Michigan. After receiving his doctorate, he entered the military during World War II and served as a psychologist. After his tour of duty, he worked as a chief clinical psychologist for the VA Clinical Psychology Training Program in Washington, D.C. In 1946, he became an assistant professor at the University of Michigan. In 1948, Yuri moved to his alma mater, Cornell University. This is where he began his research on child development and the impact social forces had on it. The turning point of his development theory was while being appointed to a federal panel he was invited to the White House to meet with Claudia Alta Lady Bird Johnson and discussed his theory and the ecological and social impact on it. His theory of ecological systems in child development was born. The bioecological systems theory was created when Yuri's theory began to look at the possibility of environmental influences on the child's development. In his own words, he stated, it is the science of strange behavior of children in strange situations with strange adults for the briefest possible periods of time. I believe what he is saying is a child's development is impacted by not only their genetic makeup, but by their environment, cultural background, the influential people in their lives. It is through these findings that he conceived his theory of the ecological system. The theory of different levels of environmental influences that can affect a child's development, starting from people and institutions immediately surrounding the child to nature's cultural forces. He then accounted for the influence of time as in specific events and changes in their lives and culture. His system was divided into five major parts, and he believed it was crucial to study a child in multiple environments, such as the following. The first was microsystems, which is the smallest and the immediate environment of the child such as their home, community, basically where they spend most of their time. It looks into their personal relationships with their parents, siblings, teachers, caregivers, etc. It is important to look into the influence these people have on the child, as well as the child's reaction to them. A nurturing and supportive environment and relationships can have a positive influence on the child's growth and development, whereas an abusive and dysfunctional environment will have the opposite effect. The next system is the mesosystem, which is a composite of the interaction of the different microsystems the child finds himself in. It involves the relationship the child has with these people surrounding his life. This involves the linking of home, school, families, 
and friends. The exosystem is the link between two or more settings that the child may or may not be directly involved in. Even if the child isn't involved directly, it can still have a major influence on the child's development. This can include neighborhoods, parents' workplace, and extended family. The macro system is the largest and most distant collections of places and people that has a significant influence on the child. It is the child's cultural values as well as political and economic systems. This can be seen in the development of a child in a war zone environment versus one living in peaceful times. The chrono system is the useful dimension of time, which is the influence of both change and consistency in the child's development. This can be seen in the children who face a change in the family structure, perhaps a move or employment status, as well as a change in the family dynamic. With understanding Yuri's system, they had a better understanding of how and why the children react to a situation and how they learn. It was through this that the Head Start program was developed in 1964 and still is in place. Yuri was a co-founder of this program and his ecological system was groundbreaking in how we teach and view a child's development. Although Yuri moved to the U.S. at age six, he frequently went back to Moscow and studied the practices that were in place for children there. He felt that if he brought some of these practices to the States, we could better influence the way we taught and viewed our children. It was with this knowledge that he incorporated it into the Head Start program. The program promotes school readiness of children ages birth to five from low-income families. Although the first Head Start program was for preschool age children, he expanded the program to add an early Head Start. Because of this expansion, it now serves pregnant women and infants, which provides much higher quality services to all children and their families. Because studies have shown that children will flourish and grow in many aspects of development through early learning, it helps the child grow in their development through the relations with adults, play and planned activities, as well as spontaneous instruction. Head Start also recognizes the importance for all children to receive proper health care and developmental screenings, as well as educating the families in this area. The program connects families with medical, dental, and mental health services to ensure that children are receiving the services they need. The Head Start program also provides family well-being, where families are supportive to achieve their own goals, such as housing, financial security, and possibly continued education. Studies have shown that with creating a strong and sufficient family unit, it creates strong parent-child relations and engages families into a strong role as educators and support in the education system. The Head Start program services over a million children every year in the United States and worldwide. It is widely used in schools, daycares, and communities every day and continues to grow. It provides a safe place for our children to learn and develop. I chose Yuri Bronfenbrenner as my theorist because he taught us to look beyond the basic standards of development that were set in place and to study the cause and effects of how children develop to open our eyes to the big picture of every child and to be responsive to the family as a whole, to understand that sometimes children's actions 
are simply reactions to their environment and their surroundings. Even though his system created the Head Start program, I firmly believe that opened all educators' eyes to the bigger picture of each and every child in our world. Yuri Bronfenbrenner passed away in September 25, 2005, at the age of 88, surrounded by his wife and six children. Thank you very much for listening.